So here we are at Make Something Unreal Live uh, 2013, which is the second of these competitions for student teams who create a game over six months using UDK, the Unreal Development Kit. This year we've partnered with the Wellcome Trust and the, uh, the subject matter for the games is Mendelian Inheritance. This year the prize is, is really quite special. It's gonna be a, a UE4 license, an Unreal Engine 4 license. This is our brand new engine really only being just rolled out to developers right now, so these guys are going to be right up there with the, uh, with the AAA studios. Epigenesis is a fast-paced ball game of the future, where players run around with gravity cannons, which they can use to shoot down their opponents from the arena. Each time a player ma manages to make a score, they get teleported back to their base with a seed in their hand, which they can then plant in the ground to start change and evolve the environment. These changes come from an area in genetics, which is called epigenetics. The game starts, and the players can jump around their environments with a jump boost, so that they can keep space held down to charge their jumps. They got an additional jump while in the air. Money has the ball. Jonathan here, on my left side, manages to pick up the ball and makes his way to the opposing team's goalpost to make a score. When he does so, he gets teleported back, and while carrying a seed, he can choose from three randomly selected ones. Madras Farm can best be described as a, um, a cross between Farmville and Viva Pinata with that creative and quirky side. So if we try again, uh, we'll see what different mutations we get if we breed these two together. So if we breed them again, we've got a giant tail here, that's a beautiful one, and pink. But I want to get some horns in my pink chickens, because I think they'll look pretty cool. So let's try again. One more. Okay, so instead this time we've got the tusks coming out of the face. If I continue to do this, I will hopefully eventually get some antlers coming out and some tusks and other uh, mutations that I want to breed in. Well, the aim of the game is you, you play as various cu uh, cute creatures and we like to call beings and you have to help them reach the promised land. Now these blue babies have the ability to swim in the water. You can choose them from this, um, this great menu we have over here, which allows you to choose multiple characters placed in different areas of the huge map. Now you can see they can easily swim over here. In order of your meeting, we have three different endings just to reach the promised land. So as you see, he's reached the platform, and the promised land is right across the door, just behind him. So as well as the morphs that Axis has, that physically changes his body. He has these magical powers in the form of fireball, elemental powers, I should say, in the form of fireball and lightning. Now, these are given to the player by picking up the crystals that you see. Now, here we have the Og. This creature is of the species that uh, are leaving the eggs around the world, or one of the species. And they've evolved to be very tough, very defensive, but also very aggressive. So their traits are focused on uh, reducing damage and increasing damage, whereas the other uh, uh, eggs are more about changing movement mechanics and things like that. Okay, well really when we're looking at the games that are presented by the teams here, we're looking for games which have got some commercial potential, which have got good ideas which are well executed. And we're looking for a balance of these things uh, and for the, for the people taking part to, to lift their quality and think of themselves as professionals entering the games industry. So this is what we're looking at, excellence and things which stand out um, in terms of great products that people would like to play and buy. It's, it's really impressive what the teams are doing. Uh, I, I have to say I didn't expect to, uh, without, you know, without <laughs> wanting to sound too professional, I didn't expect to see that level of quality. I mean, uh, all of the teams uh, are definitely doing an amazing job, but some of them uh, definitely stood out uh, and, uh, and the level of quality is absolutely stunning and it's actually uh, on par with uh, professional standards. My team originally came from, uh, actually from, a, a it was a student team initially, and uh, we participated in Make Something Real a few years ago with our game Sanctum, which was actually one of the 
final contestants in that competition. And uh, Make Something Unreal was actually kind of a start for us into becoming what we are today. So I think this is a really cool competition. It's really fun to come, come back here a few la years later and see the new teams and what they've achieved and so on. So yeah, it's uh, really fun. So the first prize winners are Dead Shark Triple Punch. <laughs> Feels so amazing. I mean, the competition has been so good this year. So many good competitors. And to win this year is just so amazing. Can't wait to continue on working with the game. Uh, I've seen them right at the beginning at the pitching stage, and it's amazing how much they've all come on in over the last six months. And you can tell a lot of them have taken on all the feedback that they've had from the gurus and all the people who've come over the week in this week, and it's fantastic. And I particularly, I had a favourite, um, and what the winner uh, was one that originally when we saw the pitch, we thought, how on earth are they going to do this? And it's quite complex on paper, but actually you see it come alive and they've done an amazing job. And I, I think it's got real potential um, to be a brilliant tournament game and a whole, you can see all the community around it, around uh, strategy and tactics and downloadable content. So I think it's got, it's incredibly original and it's got a lot of potential. The judging decision was actually difficult. Um, there were some disagreements and I think what we had to remember was importantly the theme of the competition um, and the science and, and actually the science had to be baked into the core mechanic of, of each game. We really want to continue on working with Epigenesis and make a release. Uh, so we're really looking forward to getting into the industry and start making games. And having an Unreal Engine 4 license is really going to be helping us along down our path.